Okay, so today I'm going to teach you guys how to do random drops. Now, as you saw uh, one of my earlier videos on a loot system, I'll show you how to get loot and have it you know, drop everywhere. Also, how to market and other things. Uh, one thing I didn't show was how to make a drop at random so that it doesn't show up every single time you kill an enemy, because I'm pretty sure people have that issue. Okay, here's how we do that. So. Get our enemy in here so we know what we're doing. This. We're going to spawn. On death. Respawn. Okay. Okay, so now the issue people keep running into is the fact that when you try to spawn stuff in. Like, we'll just say a weapon, for example. I think it's good enough. The issue we keeps running into is that every time you kill an enemy, spawns the gun every single time. And obviously, that can become an issue, especially if you want to have a map that's dynamic where you want random stuff to drop. And you don't want stuff to drop as often, you want to drop it at a certain time or have it drop at random. Here's how we do that. Okay. First, we got to set up an integer. And we're going to hit random. Okay. You don't have to touch this. You're going to leave this alone completely. You just got to worry about this little thing here. We're going to set this between 1 and 3. Okay. I recommend between 1 and 10. Any higher than that, and you got a better chance of winning the lottery if you get something to drop in here, okay? But we're going to do 1 and 3 so it's a bit faster. Then, we need integer compare. Swap this out for our integer. We're going to set the 2. You can set between 1, 2, or 3. I'm going to do it to 2 just because it's in the middle. equals that, then it will drop that. And make sure this is set to demon, by the way, otherwise it won't work. Okay. Now when I kill this enemy, the gun might drop, it might not drop. Kill him. Nothing dropped. Nothing dropped. There it goes. Get him away from that. Now if I kill him again. Hey, cool. It dropped again. Well, I get lucky this time. I did. Did not that time. Definitely not that time. Get him away from that stuff. I didn't get anything that time. See, it's random. You never know when it might show up. It might show up, it might not. Can I 
Maybe I won this time? Come on. There we go. We got another one. So now you make an item drop at random when you want it to. And as a bonus, if you want to just wire this just one system, you don't have to build three or four of them or even ten of them. You just build one. Here's a random relay. And just link one of these up to two different items. So let's make this another gun, just get the safe side. Activator, we'll make this one. No, not that. Oops, the in the end. Let me get the BFG. Let's make inputs, reset, let's, there we go. So now when I kill the enemy, I might get one weapon, I might get another weapon. It's random. You never know what you might get. Of course, I set it for unique input, so it'll give me one, then it'll give me the other anyway, but you never know. I got a BFG. Alright. The other gun. Nothing that time. Got another chain gun. Nothing there. Nothing there. And the BFG. All right. You can turn this off and just leave this on. That way, it'll it'll reset every time all the all the outputs were used. <clears throat> you can also set up for more than one input. You can set it up to run like ten at one time and just drop ten items at once if you want to do that too. It's a good way to make it so that if you want random loot drops to drop at random whenever you want, this is a good way to do it. So you can just set it up once and let this drop items whenever you want them to drop. And again, if you're going to set this up, try not to set any higher between 1 and 10. Any higher than 10, um, you may you might not ever see an item drop if you're playing the map one time. Because uh, I remember one time I set it between 1 and 25, and I swear to God, I never saw that item drop. It took forever for that item to drop. It took almost an hour. So, keep that in mind. So try so try to keep your numbers low if you want to have items dropping more often, so it's not too tedious. And that is how you make that work. So I hope you all found this helpful, and thank you very much for watching.